Well, we are having our first opening dinner. We're going to have a great two days meeting. Tomorrow is the conference and Friday, the other day, is the training. Uh, I'm very happy to have our guests from all over the world. We have people from Pakistan, Azerbaijan, Iran, the United States. Uh, so I'm very happy to have all my guests here. beginning of our uh, conference slash training um, we're really really happy this is the first event of 2021 uh, live it's a live version of the event so all the participants will be interacting I always uh, think that, that the most important ingredient in this conference is the fellowship among professionals and the interactions and sharing of experiences between uh, doctors and, and empowering one another uh, continuing the practice of regenerative medicine. It's going to be a two of full days of lecture, interaction, practice in, in clinic, in a clinic setting environment. So what you're seeing here is the interaction among medical professionals to advance the field of regenerative medicine. time after the pandemics to have a meeting like this and I have a good news we did a PCR test yesterday everybody is negative so we don't have a nobody positive in the room so th that's good news so uh, we thought that it will be best to start with some basic science of stem cells what are the kinds of stem cells how do we isolate them <music> I just wanted to, to say hi, acknowledge you guys, and, and thank you all for trusting in our organization. We've been able to train physicians in 35 different countries. As of today, we train and empower more doctors than anybody else in the world, being a young organization. Through ISCA, what we set out to do is to create proper standards. Um, and I'm sure that a lot of good is gonna come from having um, you uh, train with us and working together for the advancement of the field. Okay, for example, if you're doing the di diabetic food, let's talk about the diabetic food. First of all, you, you have to do the debridement. After the debridement, you do the first session, wait for 10 days, after 10 days, do the second one. If you get the results, do that in two months again, three sessions at least. Tushomes are a very flexible product that can be used. It does not contain any genetic material. This is the one that I usually do as intradermal injection and subdermal injections. You can combine it with PRP, dermal fillers and such. second portion of the, the certification training where these doctors are going to get uh, live experience in a state-of-the-art hospital with real patients. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting in, the, in the cars and we're going to go to the two, one hospital, which is the hospital to take care of uh, war-wounded soldiers from the Syrian war. And, uh, and then we're going to go to the clinic to see like not as heavy cases, uh, anti-aging procedures and aesthetic procedures as well.
actually we have four cases here. Uh, so the first two cases is one is uh, burger disease, the other one is diabetic food. After the, uh, that we will have a burn case and another uh, foot injury after that. Now uh, Dr. Brack will uh, start his presentation. If you have any questions you can ask me anytime. Thank you. They got a screen graft from behind the ear, and now they're adding it to a trypsin bottle. And they're incubating this for 30 minutes. After that, they're gonna centrifuge to obtain the cells, and then they're gonna spray it. They're gonna do a CO2 laser on the scar to create inflammation, and then they're gonna spray the cells on it. Great two days. We had the ISCA meeting. We had uh, people over from uh, Pakistan, from Azerbaijan, from United States, from Iraq. Uh, it was a great two days of training. We had the theory and hands-on from neurosurgery to orthopedics uh, to wound healing to cosmetics. It was a great experience from my side and everybody is very happy. When I see the smiley faces, I am even more happy. This training is uh, incredible for me and uh, thank you for all for this organization. It is uh, quite beautiful. I have no words to explain like uh, how much I learned and uh, it was a wonderful opportunity and I like to invite all of the people who are interested to learn stem cells. It's the best place to learn. We got a very good time for training here in Istanbul. It was about all the procedures regarding stem cell and regenerative medicine a clinical application, it was an exciting event. I lived in Basra in the south of Iraq. Uh, this is the first time in my life to see such session in such subject. Great sessions, great information, uh, nice touch and nice uh, clinical uh, information. I didn't have an idea about stem cell like that I know today. I'm quite happy because uh, this kind of uh, meeting is, uh, is coming to up, up to my expectation. Uh, thank you for all uh, organizing uh, and uh, sharing of this. Medical health of Iraq will be supported and will be give more benefits now and for the future. Thank you again. It was a great pleasure to be with all these names, big names. I want to tell you a few things, uh, something very short. I value friendship and how we build the ISCA with Benito, with Dr. Kim, we want to build a family, a close relationship. A friendship without sincerity is nothing. Just like science without wisdom, it's nothing. People are trying to travel to Mars, but still today we are bombing our temples, our houses of each other on Earth. So I say let's do a peace be sincere and have wisdom and love each other. Thank you so much. It's been a great conference, so it's nice again to enjoy a dinner together, sitting here, no mask, having fun, looking at this gorgeous city, beautiful views of the Bosphorus, and it's, it's an appropriate closing to an amazing event. So look out for, in our website, 
for upcoming events. We're going to continue doing this. So this is just the, the, the new beginning after COVID-19, and we're going to have more and more events like this. So join us, issca.us. This is the ISCA Regenerative Medicine Program.